Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Saturday. Uh, big college football slate today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells. And yeah, we'll hop in here. A lot of good matchups on the board today. Uh, I pretty much cover the, I just cover the top 25. Maybe I'll take a few that are outside of it, but we pretty much just cover the top 25 here. Um, first matchup, we got Florida State versus Boston College. Florida State opening up as a 24 and a half point road favorite with the over under at 47. Florida State coming into this matchup 2 and 0. Boston College 1 and 1. Head to head, FSU is 9 and 1, 7 and 3 covering the spread. FSU coming off a 66 to 13 win against Southern Miss. Boston College coming off a 31 to 28 win against Holy Cross, which is an FCS school that all almost beat boston college which shows pretty much that boston college is no good here uh fsu 11 and 1 against boston college 6 and 1 covering against boston college here going to be very tough for boston college this is about as good as the team gets in the college football in florida state on defense and offense it's going to be a struggle for boston college here so uh yeah, give me Florida State minus 24 and a half and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got Kansas State versus Missouri. Kansas State opening up as a three point road favorite with the over under at 49. Both teams coming into this matchup 2 and 0. Head to head, both teams are 5 and 5. Kansas State is 6 and 4 covering the spread. Uh Kansas State Coming off a, a big 42-13 win against Troy and then beating South Southeastern Missouri 45-0. So they've only given up 13 points this season through two games, which is very impressive. Missouri uh, coming off a 23-19 win against Middle Tennessee State, uh, which really, you know, up against a team like Middle Tennessee State, they really should have put up more points. So Missouri definitely vulnerable. Going to be facing a very good Kansas State team with a good offense, good quarterback. Kansas State four and one covering against Missouri four and one covering on the road against Missouri here I like Kansas State on the road that looks like a tricky line only at three points but uh, Kansas State I'd say the much better team here uh, I like the quarterback better in Will Howard and um, I'm gonna buy a half a point and I'm gonna take Kansas State minus two and a half and money line on the road Next matchup, we got LSU versus Mississippi State. LSU opening up as a nine and a half point road favorite with the over under at 54. Uh, LSU coming into this matchup one and one. Mississippi State two and zero. Oh. Head to head, LSU is seven and three. Um, LSU coming off a 72 to 10 win against Grambling. Mississippi State coming off a 31 to 24 win against Arizona. LSU 10 and 1 on the road against Mississippi State, 17 and 3 against Mississippi State. They've been very dominant against Mississippi State here. And um I like LSU here. I know Mississippi State's coming into this 2 and 0. You know, LSU unfortunately losing to a very good Florida State team in their opener. Um going to be tough to pick to back Mississippi State here up against a tough LSU defense and uh and offense here. And they've just been so dominant against Mississippi State. I'm going to roll with LSU minus nine and a half and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got Penn State versus Illinois. Penn State opening up as a 14 point road favorite with the over under at 47 and a half. Penn State coming into this matchup 2 0. Illinois 1 1. Uh, head to head, Penn State is 7 and 3. Penn State coming off a 63-7 win against Delaware. Illinois coming off a 34-23 loss against Kansas. Uh, Penn State 15-5 against Illinois. They've been very good head-to-head -head there. 8-0-1 covering the spread right now. They've been very good covering the spread here. And um, yeah, I just think this Penn State team is going to be way too much for Illinois here. Uh, just offensively and defensively, Penn State's just another level above them. 
I'm going to buy a half a point, and uh, I'm going to get Penn State minus 13 and a half and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got Central Michigan versus Notre Dame. Notre Dame opening up as a 34 and a half point home favorite with the over under at 51 and a half. Central Michigan coming into this matchup one and one. Notre Dame three and zero. Oh. Uh, head to head doesn't look like these teams have ever played each other. Central Michigan coming off a 45 to 42 win against UNH. Notre Dame coming off a 45 to 24 uh, win against NC State. Central Michigan. Not expecting too much. This is a very good Notre Dame team on offense and defense here. Uh, nine and one in their last 10, 17 and three at home. So a very dominant home team here. They should really have no problem. It's definitely a, you know, a difficult spread sitting around 34 and a half. Um, but I'd still take Notre Dame minus the points, throw them in a teaser, get them around 20, 26, 25. That would, that would be ideal. A good sweet spot right there. But uh, we'll take Notre Dame minus 34 and a half at home. Next matchup, we got Alabama versus USF. Bama opening up as a 34 and a half or 34 point road favorite with the over under at 61. Both teams coming into this matchup one and one. Head to head, Bama is one and oh. Uh, they've only played each other one time before. Bama winning that matchup 40 to 17. Bama coming off a, you know, a tough Texas loss here. Uh, USF coming off a FAMU win. Bama making a quarterback change. No Milrow at quarterback. It's going to be Tyler uh, Buckner at quarterback here. And uh, yeah, crazy Bama playing a road game like this. Uh, they don't really do it that much. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes here, especially with the new quarterback change. And, um, you know, the one time they did play... USF did get the cover. I mean, I don't know. It's it's hard to bet against Bama. They're going to have a new quarterback. Coming off a of Texas loss, I think I think they're going to be really hungry here for a win. Should, I think it should be a dominating win for Bama, and uh, I'll take Bama minus thirty four on the road. Next matchup, we got Minnesota versus North Carolina. North Carolina opening up as a seven point road or seven point home favorite with the over under at fifty and a half. Both teams coming into this matchup 2-0. Uh, Head-to-head, doesn't look like these teams have ever played each other. Uh, Minnesota coming off an Eastern Michigan win 25-6 and then beating Nebraska 13-10. They don't they haven't put up much points. 25 has been the highest so far. USC coming off that 40-34 overtime win against App State. I really like North Carolina. I think they're definitely a much more talented team here and love the quarterback play. I love Drake May in this matchup. Uh, definitely going to be a tougher defense. The best, you know, the best defense he's definitely faced so far uh, in a Minnesota team that's going to run the ball and play defense, but I still got to take the better quarterback here. And I think he's going to get him a victory. I'm going to buy a half a point and take North Carolina minus six and a half and money line at home. Next matchup, we got Northwestern versus Duke. Duke opening up as a 17 point home favorite with the over under at 48 and a half. Northwestern coming into this matchup 1 and 1. Duke 2 and 0. Oh. Head to head. Both teams are 5 and 5 here. Duke is 7 and 3 covering the spread. Northwestern coming off a 38 to 7 win against UTEP. That's their first win. I mean, they were on a 9 game losing streak dating back to last season, so they finally got their first win in a very long time and then duke coming off a lafayette win and then beating clemson in their opener duke has looked very good to start the season putting up a lot of points the defense i mean they held clemson to seven points and lafayette to seven points so this is a very suffocating and dominating defense here it's gonna be tougher northwestern who's 0 and 12 on the road yeah give me duke minus 16 and a half and money line at home Next matchup, we got Oklahoma versus Tulsa. Oklahoma opening up as a 28 and a half point road favorite with the over under at 58. Tulsa, or Oklahoma coming into this matchup 2 and 0. Tulsa 1 and 1. Head to head, Oklahoma is 9 and 1. They've been dominant head to head here. Uh, Tulsa has some quarterbacks that are questionable. We'll see what happens there. 
Oklahoma coming off a 28 to 11 win against SMU. Also coming off a 43 to 10 loss against Washington here. Oklahoma 9 and 0 against Tulsa. 5 and 1 covering against Tulsa. It's going to be very tough for Tulsa here. I mean, Oklahoma is going to be able to throw and do whatever they want on them. Interesting spread. It's a lot of a lot of points. And we saw Oklahoma just barely beating SMU 28 to 11 last week. Um I still trust. Oh, this is tough. I just don't feel like I want to back Tulsa here because they looked very bad against Washington. And um, Washington, pretty much the same same as Oklahoma here, skill, you know, team wise. And uh, so I expect a lot of points from Oklahoma. I'm going to buy a point and I'm going to take Oklahoma minus 27 and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got San Diego State versus Oregon State. Oregon State opening up as a 24 and a half point home favorite with the over under at 48. San Diego State coming into this matchup 2 and 1. Oregon State 2 and 0. Oh. Head to head Oregon State is 3 and 0 oh, with an average score of 32 to 13. San Diego State coming off a 35 to 10 loss against UCLA. Oregon State coming off a 55 to 7 win against UCD. And yeah, Oregon State, they looked very good to start the season here. 13-0 um, covering at home. They've been a very covering machine at home here. They got a great offense, good defense here. A lot of giving up a lot of points to this San Diego State team. 24 and a half. Kind of a big number. Um I'm still gonna roll with Oregon State here. Uh I think the, the offense has looked great. I'm going to buy a point. I'm going to take Oregon State minus 23 and a half at home. Next matchup, we got South Carolina versus Georgia. Georgia opening up as a 27 point home favorite with the over under at 54. South Carolina coming into this matchup 1 and 1. Georgia 2 and 0. Oh. Head to head, Georgia is 8 and 2. 6 and 4 covering the spread. Um. South Carolina coming off a 47 to 21 win against Furman. Georgia coming off a 45 to 3 win against Ball State. Uh, South Carolina 1 and 7 against Georgia. They just haven't been able to beat Georgia. 1 and 4 on the road against Georgia here. Georgia 19 and 0 at home. Just absolutely dominant at home here. I don't think anything is really going to change here. And uh, buy, I'm going to buy half a point. I'll take Georgia minus 26 and a half at home. Next matchup, we got Western Michigan versus Iowa. Iowa opening up as a 28-point home favorite with the over-under at 42.5. Western Michigan coming into this matchup 1-1. One one. Iowa 2-0. and Head-to-head, oh. -head, Western Michigan is 2-1 and one in the three meetings that they have played. Uh, Western Michigan coming off a 48-7 loss against Syracuse. Just a bad, a bad loss for their... Uh, yeah, just a bad loss for them. That didn't look good there. Iowa coming off a 20 to 13 win against Iowa State. And yeah, Iowa, it's just the same Iowa team here. They they're putting up it's funny because their coach their their coach or offensive coordinator, they, he has to average 25 points or else he gets fired. Hasn't scored 25 points so far in the first two games. Putting up 24 and 20. Haven't I mean, they covered the winning spread last time, but they were they had a 24 point spread against Utah State, did not cover that at all. And um, I just don't know how anyone could really take Iowa minus 28, even though you know Western Michigan didn't look that great last game, first game, you know, put up 35 points against you know against a, a FCS school, but still, until Iowa can score 28 points as a team which they haven't done. I just don't know how they're going to be a 28 point favorite until that day happens. There's just zero chance. I'm taking Iowa here. Give me Western Michigan plus 28 on the road. Next matchup. We've got Western Kentucky versus Ohio state. Ohio state opening up as a 30 point home favorite with the over under at 65. Both teams coming into this matchup two and oh, have not ever played each other here. Uh, Western Kentucky coming off a 52-22 win against HBU. 
Ohio State coming off a 35 to 7 win against Youngstown. Have it been that great to start the season? I mean, they're 2 and 0, but I mean, they beat Indy 23 to 3, only put up 35 on Youngstown. Um, the offense isn't looking that amazing so far. I know it's early in the season here and um Western Kentucky, they are 0 and 10 against the Big 10. It's going to be a tough task for them to win in Ohio State, but Western Kentucky, going to be a team that's going to be able to move the ball here. Um, definitely the best offense that Ohio State's faced so far. Western Kentucky is going to be going to try and put up points here. Yeah, they're going to be passing the ball a lot. And uh, 30 points here. I think it's a good spot for Western Kentucky. I still like Ohio State to win here, but I do expect Western Kentucky to put up some points on, on Ohio State here. And uh, I'm going to take a shot with Western Kentucky plus 30 on the road. Next matchup, we got Washington versus Michigan State. Washington opening up as a 16-point road favorite with the over-under at 56. Both teams coming into this matchup 2-0. Uh, Head-to-head, Washington is 2-0. 2-0 covering the spread. Um, yeah, you know, Michigan State going to be missing their coach. So a lot of personnel, uh, bad stuff going on with Michigan State. Washington coming off a 43 to 10 win against Tulsa. Michigan State coming off a 45 to 14 win against Rice. And yeah, Washington, they've just looked very good. The offense has been pretty explosive, pretty elite here. Um, yeah, I just don't trust Michigan State up against a very good Washington team. It's going to be tough for them. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take Washington minus 16 on the road here. Next matchup, we got Tennessee versus Florida. Tennessee opening up as a five and a half point road favorite with the over under at 56 and a half. Tennessee coming into this matchup 2 0. Florida 1 and 1. Head to head, Florida is 8 and 2. 6 and 4 covering the spread. Uh, Tennessee on a four game winning streak coming off an Austin PA win. Florida coming off a 49 7 win against McNeese State. Tennessee just 2 and 16 against Florida. They really struggle against Florida. 0 and 9 on the road against Florida. They have not beat Florida on the road in the last nine years or so. Um, yeah, we know how Florida looked against a good team in their opener against Utah. Didn't play well, but Tennessee, not the you know, not the team they were last year, especially on offense. Um, offense hasn't looked that amazing so far. Um They've definitely been stuck for a little bit during their first two games. I think Florida's a good good underdog at home uh, since Tennessee just hasn't beaten them on the road here. And uh, I'll take a shot with Florida plus five and a half at home. Next matchup, we got Bowling Green versus Michigan. Michigan opening up as a 40-point home favorite with the over-under at 53 and a half. Bowling Green coming into this matchup one and one. Michigan two and zero. Oh. Head to head, Michigan is 2 0. 2 0 covering the spread. Bowling Green coming off an EIU win. Michigan coming off a 35 7 win against UNLV. Uh, so far this season, um, Michigan has not covered the spread. They've been 35, 38 point favorites, and they just haven't covered. Uh, they've just kind of been running the ball in fourth quarter. They've just been kind of chilling and haven't really been putting up being that aggressive just because their competition that don't really need to. And they're satisfied with the 30, you know, putting up 30 plus and getting a win and um, not expecting much from Bowling Green here, but 40 points. Michigan hasn't covered a big spread so far this season. I'm going to take a shot. It, it, the way it's looking like as long as bowling green can at least at least score a touchdown maybe a couple field goals i think they'll get the cover here and uh i'll take bowling green plus 40 on the road next matchup we got georgia tech versus ole miss ole miss opening up as a 17 and a half point home favorite with the over under at 63 and a half georgia tech coming in on this matchup one and one ole miss two and oh head to head ole miss is two and oh 2-0 covering the spread. Uh, Georgia Tech going to be missing two wide receivers, which is not good for them. Georgia Tech coming off a 48-13 win against South Carolina State. 
Ole Miss coming off a 37 to 21 against two against a good Tulane team. Uh, Georgia Tech 0 and 7 against the SEC here. Yeah, I really like Ole Miss. Um, I think the offense is just going to be too much for Georgia Tech here, and uh, I'll take Ole Miss minus. I'm gonna buy a point. I'm gonna take Ole Miss minus 16 and a half and money line at home. Next matchup, we got Hawaii versus Oregon. Oregon opening up as a 38 point home favorite with the over under at 68 and a half. Hawaii coming into this matchup one and two. Oregon two and zero. Oh. These teams have not played each other before. Uh, Hawaii coming off a 31 to 21 against Albany. Oregon coming off a 38 to 31 against Texas Tech. Huge comeback in that game too. Uh, nice win for them. Hawaii 0 and five covering against the Pac-12. Going to be very tough for Hawaii on the road against this Oregon team here. Um, uh, I just don't know if they're going to be able to do it. And uh, you saw Oregon was a 48-point favorite against Portland State, and they put up 81 points. I just don't think it's going to be a good look for Hawaii here, and uh, I'm going to take Oregon minus 38 at home. Next matchup, we got TCU versus Houston. ECU opening up as a seven and a half point home, uh, road favorite with the over under at 64. Both teams coming into this matchup one and one. Head to head, TCU is five and zero, oh, so they bet pretty good head to head here. Uh, TCU coming off a 41 to six win against Nickel State. Houston coming off a 41 to 43 loss against Rice. Um, gonna be a thriller here. I know a lot of people are on Houston here. Uh, TCU's been very good against Houston. This should be a shootout here. You're going to get two pretty high-scoring offenses. So I expect I expect like 30 plus 40 points here uh, from either team. And uh, I think this one can go either way. TCU, they're not the team they were last year. And that's just, it is what it is. They're just not the, they lost so many people last year. They're just not going to be as good. And uh I think Houston's a really good underdog today. I'm going to take Houston plus seven and a half at home. Next matchup, we got Wyoming versus Texas. Texas opening up as a 30 point home favorite with the over under at 49. Both teams coming into this matchup 2 0. Head to head, Texas is 3 0. Um, Wyoming coming off a 31 17 win against Portland State. Texas coming off that 34 to 24 win against Bama. Um, yeah, Texas looking like the real deal in college football here. Beating Bama like that, kind of dominating them on defense here. Definitely makes a statement to the league here. Going to be very tough for Wyoming to really do anything. Give me Texas minus 30 at home. Then the last matchup, got the best matchup of the day, I think. We got Colorado State versus Colorado Colorado opening up as a 23 and a half point home favorite with the over under at 63. Rams coming into this matchup 0 and 1. Colorado 2 and 0. Head to head Colorado is 8 and 2, 9 and 1 covering the spread. Colorado State, I mean, it looks like they have a different a new quarterback starting, Braden Fowler Nicolosi. So the quarterback situation not looking too good for Colorado State. Coming off a 50 to 24 loss against Washington State. And uh, right now, I'd say Colorado's probably better than Washington State, which doesn't mean well for uh, Colorado State here. Colorado coming off a 36 to 14 win against Nebraska. Just two, just two solid games to open up the season here. And you know, Colorado State, their coach was kind of talking a little trash to Dion. So uh, they're going to come out here and destroy Colorado State. Give me Colorado minus 23 and a half. Throw them in your money line parlays at home. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday. Hope you guys all cash out. I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.